Hi everyone welcome back to my channel a monk in cloud if you are new to this channel a monk in cloud is a community where we discuss about cloud and devops in the last few videos we have been working on a project which is serverless web application on aws so this is going to be the second step of the project where we are going to set up the cloud front distribution for our s3 bucket all right so if you have not checked the previous video i would highly recommend you to go and check it out first before getting on here right so now let's get started we have seen only 10% of the channel viewers have subscribed to our channel we have high expectation from our youtube channel so please subscribe and spread a word about this channel with your friends so here if you see uh, we have completed the s3 bucket portion we have covered it so we have created an s3 bucket and we have stored all our javascript css and html files in that s3 bucket so a quick recap recap so this is our s3 bucket so and here if you see we have all the files that we have stored inside this s3 bucket right so next step is to create this cloud front distribution right so for that what you can do is you can open up your aws management console and you can search for cloud front okay so i'll just directly open from the recently visited site and this is the cloud front that uh, uh, console that you can see right so amazon cloud front is a fast content delivery network which is cdn service that securely delivers data videos applications and apis to customers globally with low latency and high transfer fee speeds so why we are using it because i want very low latency for my application right so in my s3 bucket i have stored few application right so in index.html javascript and css those are web application so i want that to be uh, uh, that to have very low latency for that i'm going to create cloud front distribution okay so first what you can do is you can just click on create a cloud front distribution and this is the page that appears to you right so here you need to select few details so i'm going to walk you through that one okay origin domain name you just if you just click on that it will list down all the different option available to you and as i have only one s3 bucket right now so that is being displayed here right so if you have multiple s3 make sure you check the name of the s3 bucket and then select it okay now i'm going to select this s3 bucket and origin path is it is optional so i'm not going to enter anything here so i'll keep that as default next here origin access or uh, take a while and clearly observe because here you should not select public or legacy access uh, identities so go with origin access control settings which is recommended by aws right so you can restrict access to only cloud front for your aws s3 buckets so if you go and access this index.html you will not be able to access for example let me show you that i'll just copy the object url and if i paste it you are getting access denied error right so what i did i just opened up uh, that index.html and here if you see object url is there if i copy and if i paste it i am not getting the content of that index.html why because we have not made this bucket as public right if you remember the previous video we, it is not set to public so instead of setting it as public what you can do is you can go with origin access where you set it to origin access control settings which is recommended by aws themselves okay so after selecting that one you can see this option origin access control so it is saying that selecting select an existing origin access control recommended or you can create a new configuration so if i see here i have already created uh, I, i to test this one i had created this access uh, origin access control before but if you want to create a new one you can just click on create here and as this is already there i'll just add hyphen 1 and you can leave everything else as default description if you want you can add else leave that as default and origin type make sure it is s3 and signing behavior leave that as default and click on create 
right so now we have created origin access control right so later on don't do anything just go all the way down leave everything as default we are not going to change any property here but if you want to go through you can uh, go and set accordingly right so if you want i can walk you through but this is not a cloud front distribution uh, master class right so we are just building the project and we are going to take whatever we need so i am going to leave everything else as default and just click on create distribution so this might take a little time to get that set up right so let's see what is the thing here let me go and click on distributions if you see here the status is enabled but it is still under deploying right if you see uh, the complete cloud from distribution has been enabled and it is deployed successfully right so the next thing that you need to do is you need to copy the s3 bucket policy which you need to attach to your bucket so that the cloud front can access your aws s3 bucket right so to do that get inside your distribution here you have many different tiles here you just need to be in origins get into origins select the origin name that you have created just now okay in my case this was the one and click on edit right so do not do anything here but if you come down all the way down you see you see this blue tile called you know you must allow access to cloud front using this policy statement and they have they have provided the policy also what you have to do is you can just click on you know copy policy and the policy will be copied to your clipboard you need to paste this in your amazon s3 bucket right so to do that go back to your aws s3 and go all the way to your bucket select the bucket where you have uh, you know stored everything i'll select this one and go to permissions tab and under permissions you see bucket policy select that and click on edit and here you paste the content that you have you know copied so basically this is just allowing cloud front service principle to access your s3 bucket if you see here the sid is this one effect is allow principle is cloud front right and the action is aws s3 get object on this particular bucket only right so condition is only when the uh, cloud front is accessing this one okay after checking all of them just click on save changes okay so now if you go back and you can just cancel this one you don't have to edit anything so now the setup is done right so if you see here uh, you see the alternate domain names you can add which will be our next concept right so we'll we'll uh, do that in the next uh, video but make sure that the default root object is index.html so why are we setting that one because our uh, aws bucket contains a file called index.html and that is the entry point for our web application right so it should be a uh, change to index.html so how do you do that click on edit and here if you come here uh, which is optional but it is uh, you know needed so we'll set it to index dot sorry it should be dot html okay so leave everything else as default it should be default and click on save changes okay so this is all you have to do uh, and make sure that it is deployed completely right so don't just think that after uh, saving it you are done no so you might get an error and you need to look into that right so let uh, let this setup uh, gets done so this is all you have to do for the step two in step three what we are going to do is we are going to have our own route 53 along with the certificate so that it is the website is secured uh, to you know access it one so we are going to set that in the step three of this you know series so we have completed the setup of cloud front and s3 bucket in the next uh, video we are going to discuss about the route 53 so that's it i had to cover for this video if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one you can now access the main points of this video on our website amankincloud.com by clicking the link in the video description.